Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video I'm going to share this new feature where you can now share your Microsoft Forms survey live. And by live I mean you can show the survey as these responses are coming in real time. So stick around, there's a lot to learn. This is very exciting, but first, here's my intro video. So here was the announcement that was made on June 14th of 2023, and that was only three days ago, and that is what I'm gonna show you today. Key things is the new present mode that is available where you can actually go and see this real-time surveys that are coming in, but now let's go and take a look at it real time. So here I am into my Microsoft 365. I click on the app launcher on the top left and over there I go and select my Microsoft form. Opens up a new tab for me, which is great. And here is actually a survey that I already went ahead and got 33 responses over for a conference that I recently did. Now, again, that's not a requirement, but I'm just going to go and show you that I already had some responses. So how this present looks. But in your case, it could be a brand new Microsoft form and this feature will take effect over there. So I'll just show you what I already have. So when I click on this, you actually now have this new present option on the top right. Remember, this was not there before. So as I go and click on it, it now has this new functionality. Now granted, on the right, you have the QR code and the link so that people can actually go ahead and use one of those to get access to the form and submit it. But along with that, you get to see the real time entries of the survey over here. And it's pretty neat because I've got five different questions added to this. So it gives me different options. Basically it says one out of the five. So as I go and click on the next question, I like how these questions actually fill in. This visual effect is actually really nice. It looks really soothing to the eyes as well. And it has a nice effect. So when I go now to question number three, you can see that automatically the last selection had the most number of entries and therefore that was at 58%. So you can see that the slider moves over there. And then as I, go, as I go to the right, here's another question and it looks really pleasing to the eye. All right, so let's go back to question number one and I really wanna test the real time effect of this survey. So as you can see, I've got 33 responses right now and I'm gonna focus primarily on this question one. Uh, let me just scroll down a little bit so you can actually see the effect of all the questions. I've got all the way from Power Apps to the Power Pages. And on the right side, I have the same form. So I'm gonna go and finish and submit that form and let's see how this data is coming in. So this time I'm gonna intentionally go and select Power Pages. I'll go ahead and click on any one of these other questions that I have to do. Um, and then I, I'm gonna go and click on Submit. So moment I click on Submit, did you see how that 3% increased? I just clicked over there and the question is feeding in. So I can see the survey updates real time as people go ahead and submit that. And this is pretty neat as you're getting in a conference or as you're in a meeting or something and you've got this survey up and people are filling it up, it actually gives you real time entry directly here on the form. Uh, but let's keep going, okay? I'm gonna intentionally go back and actually select Power Pages once again. I'll go ahead and fill out some information for these other forms um, and I'll click on Submit. I'm gonna click on Submit. Click, and when I did that, see it's growing over here. And as you can see, initially I only had 33 responses, but now I'm 35. So this is the whole excitement, is that now instead of you just waiting and only showing this QR code or the link, uh, you can actually come up to this screen, and in the screen it's called as the present. It's presenting to you the survey real time or live as the questions are coming in. So it is exciting to see how that new feature of dynamic real-time results has already appeared in my tenant and it, either it's already in yours or coming very soon. But the one thing that I'm looking forward to in the future is over here, it says what's next? In parallel, they are upgrading the form's PowerPoint add-on experience so that you can go ahead and include all of this real-time directly inside your PowerPoint. And I did go ahead and check to see, hey, has this already come up? And unfortunately it did not. But, but here's what I did just to confirm. I went ahead and clicked on my PowerPoint to go ahead and open up my PowerPoint. This is my PowerPoint for Microsoft 365. I went ahead and clicked on the presentation. Let's go and change the layout to blank. Uh, and then the insert, you come on to my add-ins. I click on the add-ins and I go to my store. And in the store, you will see Microsoft Forms. So once I click on it, it says, yep, everything is good. I'm gonna go ahead and approve that. I'll click on continue. Uh, right now, all I can go ahead and do is actually go ahead and insert the link. So if I go and now go back to my Microsoft form, uh, directly my Microsoft form, I go back and I can grab that link. See so here it is, copy link, go back to my PowerPoint. Um, and if I go ahead and paste it in, I click on insert, it directly takes me into my Microsoft Forms. 
um, and the form that I added. And if I go and click on the sliding in settings feature, there is no option for me to right now go ahead and put in directly that present feature. That's not there right now because that's what they said coming soon. So if I go and click on get add-ins and in the get add-ins, don't click on the ad for Microsoft Forms, just click somewhere over here. And if I click on it, you will see that right now this was released in March 1st of 2021. And that tells me that this has not shown up, this add-in has not shown up in my tenant. And therefore it matches up with what they had said is that coming soon, uh, this future release, what's next, that's a future release. I'm really excited to see that. So once that comes up, I'll definitely make a video for that. But all in all, this is super exciting. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.